Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the communists. I've heard they once fought another war and that the Nazis lost. What is going on guys? Killer McKillcam here and this is another episode of Metro 2033 Redux and this is chapter 4 Frontline and there's two ways that you can fucking beat this game. One is to go through completely stealth and not kill anybody and you will get the Invisible Man trophy or achievement. If you go through and you have to kill absolutely everybody you cannot miss not one soul and if you do that you will get the Hedge Hopper trophy or achievement don't ask me why the fuck it's called hedgehopper i have no fucking idea dude um but i did it both ways this one is the invisible man now you can also get the rescue ranger um trophy and as a matter of fact if you don't get the rescue rescue ranger trophy you won't get the invisible man trophy because you want to know why if you don't go down to that room and you'll see later in this video how i did it um if you don't go down to that room and rescue the rangers the uh, people that are locked up, the fucking prisoners of war or whatever, if you don't rescue them, then they will be getting killed. And I guess maybe the developers decided that it was your fault, it's your blood on their hands. And uh, for them, you, they're holding you responsible for their deaths, I guess, and they're not going to give you the fucking Invisible Man trophy for making it through the whole entire fucking level uh, without killing anybody. So... Uh, when you get to that fucking room, you have to fucking knock out the guard. When you sneak up behind him, you know, you can fucking hit the fucking button to kill him. I think it's like R1 or whatever the fuck it is. Or you can hit square to knock them out. And that is going to get you the Rescue Ranger achievement. And that is going to allow you to get the Invisible Man achievement or trophy, whichever one you're playing, PS4, Xbox One. Um... And it will allow you to continue on with um, trying for that Invisible Man as long as you complete the rest of the level without killing anybody. And you're going to see exactly how I did that in this video. And then I also got the Hedgehopper um, trophy slash achievement. Uh, and then throughout the whole entire Chapter 4, you know, some of these trophies you don't have to get in. There's a key that you're going to need. And then go back down and get the shit out of the box. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about right now. Uh, you know, some of the trophies like Kaboom, Fire, and just Slice and Dice, Thief, um, those are trophies that, you know, you can probably achieve those just by playing the game because, you know, like Thief, unlock 15 of those boxes that I just did. Now, if you were to restart this level at the last checkpoint um, and just do that box 15 times in a row, you can achieve that. Um, slice and dice, you know, is to stab somebody in a close quarter combat. Um, fire, you know, to explode somebody uh, with the fire bombs. Uh, I think it's like 50 times or some shit like that. But these are all the trophies that I got while I was playing Chapter 4. And some of the trophies I got pretty quick because I replay these levels over and over again until I get a perfect uh, playthrough because I don't want to upload a bunch of crap to YouTube man um, you know I want to be one of the best playthrough channels I want to be one of the best playthrough commentators and I don't want to give you a fucking hacked up piece of shit like some people do um, you know I've watched these other fucking playthrough channels dude and basically especially when they're showing you a trophy uh, those motherfuckers don't even give you a whole fucking video dude they give you like a two minute fucking cut up piece of shit trying to fucking show you how to get a fucking trophy or achievement and then you got some people that don't even talk at all which to me is kind of boring to watch um so i play these games and i play these levels over and over again until i can get a flawless fucking gameplay dude because when people watch playthroughs i mean unless you like me and you like my channel and you like my commentary um, and i do have a handful of people that watch all my videos just because they like me and my commentary and they want to see me succeed and they like me so they watch my videos but when most people let's say for an example go on YouTube and search for an example um, Invisible Man you know they want to see a fucking playthrough dude with some fucking commentary explaining exactly what the fuck they're doing because I've fucking watched videos dude trying to get a fucking trophy before 
and there was no explanation and the fucking videos just looked like shit and it was just like it was a useless fucking video you know and I don't want to be that guy dude I want my fucking videos to be fucking useful and you know for an example my fucking uh, Killzone Shadowfall Elite Mode campaign uh, like a boss trophy road to like a boss trophy I've had a handful of people tell me um, either on Twitter or in a video or on PlayStation 4 in a message say bro your fucking playthrough helped me get the elite mode there's no way I would have gotten the elite mode like a boss trophy uh, had you not made that fucking series and I'm so glad that you made that series and that's what the fuck I want dude that's what the fuck I want for my channel dude I want people to tell me in a message oh my god thank you so much for putting this playthrough on because I could not have done this without you that's ultimately what my goal is so anyways in this fucking chapter four I end up getting um, a kaboom a gunman hedgehopper fire marksman uh, the rescue ranger ninja slice and dice invisible man invisible man thief and DJ Artyom now the ones that the three videos during uh, chapter four that I'm going to concentrate on the most uh, doing an explanation for is going to be this one, the Invisible Man. I will, and then after this will be Hedgehopper, and then I'll do DJ uh, Artinum um, because that is another um, level Pacific trophy, which means you can only get that trophy in Chapter Four, and it's on uh, the Outpost, I believe, or no Depot, no Depot, nope. Oh, and then there's also Raider too. In, in the depot where you have to silently kill the first guard in the in the um in the shit <laughs> in the level in the level d depot you had to silently silently kill the first guard and raider and I'll show you how to do that and then there's the fucking uh, DJ Art Artinum and I, that is an outpost and then basically what you have to do is you have to take a video not a videotape but a cassette tape and broadcast it over the fucking the radio and I'll show you guys how to do that because you know those are all our chapter Pacific and all these other ones you know like kaboom gunman fire uh, ninja slice and dice and thief um, you can basically just play the whole entire game and more than likely you'll unlock those at some point so during the course of the next three or four videos um, those are going to be the topics. You know, Hedgehopper is going to be the next topic. Um, and then DJ Art Artinum and Raider will be the next three topics after this. So this chapter four was pretty long, dude. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, subtitles under chapter four. We got Frontline, Trolley Combat, Depot, Defiance, you know, Child or Hole, whichever one you want to call it, Outpost, and Black Station. And it was a very long chapter, dude. So chapter four is probably going to be about four videos. Um, this one here, the Invisible Man. Uh, the next one, Hedgehopper, which is kill everybody. And then I'll do the fucking uh, Raider and show you guys that. And then I will show you the DJ Artinum and Outpost. And then, and then everything else in between. Uh, and then again, what I'm going to do... Uh, because the PlayStation and the Share Factory doesn't record uh, those pop-ups, you know, the little fucking notifications whenever somebody tells you uh, something in a message or invites you to a party or trophies is what I'm getting at. They don't fucking record the notification for trophies. So basically what I'm going to do is what you're going to start seeing in my videos are going to be screenshots of the actual trophy. And like on this one here, you're going to see it say Kill Him Kill Cam got eight trophies. But then it ended up being like fucking 12 by the end of the fucking day. So I'll just show you a screenshot either right when I'm getting the trophy. Because there was another one and I think it was in... Uh, I forget but you know maybe uh, for example in outpost right when I get the fucking uh, trophy for uh, DJ Artinum I will just show you the screenshot real quick but this screenshot for um, invisible man if you guys watch the whole entire video which I hope you do you'll see a screenshot of the trophy there 
So that's what I'm going to do just to show you guys the trophies and what they look like on the um, PS4 anyways. And that way you guys can see that I got them. And that way you'll know that uh, if you do exactly as I do, then you too will get the trophy. So, anyways, I have an announcement to make real quick, guys. The winner of the Xbox One Metro Redux. It's two games in one. One disc, two games. And the winner is going to be Staves Acre 28. Congratulations, uh, Staves Acre 28. Thank you so much for participating. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me over the last couple of years. Sharing my videos, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, telling me how much you love my videos. And you have been a great friend to me. And for that, buddy, uh, Staves Acre 28, you are the winner of the Xbox One. Now, that is not all. <laughs> I got a special surprise because this fucking kid tried so fucking hard to win this fucking game and I know and could tell that this is going to mean so much to him. Connor Sargent, you also won a copy of Metro Redux. So basically all I want you to do is tell me uh, in the comment section below or on Twitter do you want it for the PS4 or do you want it for Xbox One? The Xbox One game that I have right now is going to Stage Acre 28. He would have been the winner. But because Connor Sargent tried so fucking hard to win this fucking game, I'm going to fucking give it to you, bro. And my fucking giveaways are legit. Um, so just contact me on video. On, on video. Contact me on Twitter and then share and like this video video and then I will get those out in the mail for you guys tomorrow and you should have them by Friday day and I know I said in the past that I was going to give away those $20 gift cards each you know each video I would review a couple digits of a $20 gift card either for the Xbox one or the PS4 well I still do plan on doing that I have just been extremely busy guys I couldn't get to the store and you know I've given away four of these games these uh, Metro Redux and that's a lot of money and so anyways uh, I'm gonna start that on the next playthrough the next playthrough I do I'm gonna give away one copy of that game and one twenty dollar gift card uh, either to an Xbox player or to a PS4 player so please stick with me but anyways guys this video is about to come to a to an end and I want to say right now thanks for stopping thanks for watching hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit that share button leave me a comment in the section below and until next time peace